Hey everybody, Lindsay Smith here is your business tip this week. This week I want to give you guys three tips that I heard from a tech legend at the Consumer Electronics Show last week uh, in Las Vegas. There's you know, 150,000 attendees, they figure there are probably almost a quarter million people uh, come to Vegas for this show in some capacity. And it was an absolutely phenomenal experience to hear some of these absolute giants speak about their different products, um, see what's new, see the trends, and we're going to be slowly giving you guys more information uh, about the different trends that we saw and as they relate to real estate. So we're super excited about that. But this past week, I was attended a session called Brand Matters, and you know, it was really interesting to hear some of these people speak about how technology is assisting with brands, but I want to kind of step out of there. There's a program called Salesforce. If you're not familiar with it, it's probably the number one client relationship management software in the world now. And it's absolutely amazing because Salesforce has taken the uh, market by storm. And the gentleman's name who founded it is, is Mark um, Beninoff, or um, Benioff, I'm not even sure how to pronounce it exactly. But we heard him speak, and he was up there talking about different aspects of technology, the future. And he gave three sort of tips, almost not really tips, but he talked about the three values that he believes should be the top three values in every company. And they absolutely gripped me. And they resonated with me so hard that I, I wanted to share them with you because I think that these values should be present in every real estate business and you know, basically every business. I'd have to agree with him. So the three values that he believed should be in here, and this, this um, you know, probably <laughs> hundreds of millions and millions of dollars this gentleman has made, probably almost a billionaire now. But he talked about the first value in any company needs to be trust. And for your real estate business, you need to make sure that your clients obviously, number one, trust you. That's not just about being honest. Um, you know, at the Ninja course, we talked a lot about becoming a trusted advisor. And you need to be the trusted expert. You need to be one who has the education, the one who's offering the value-added real estate information that's relevant and pertinent to your clients and pertinent to your audience um, anytime that people are listening to you. So that could be social media could be your mail outs, things like that. You need to be the trusted person. Also, you're not spamming people. You're not out there sending people unsolicited information after they requested not to receive it. So you need to make sure that in every aspect of your business, when you talk to people, how you work with them, that trust is your number one factor. There's so many different things that you do as a realtor that the public perceives as a commodity. Oh, I list on MLS, I'm gonna do open houses. And there's certain things that you're gonna to do to set yourself apart on that. But the reality is, is that the consumers are going to use you because someone referred them to you and they trust you or they might have visited your website and they trust based off the information you have on there. So make trust your number one value. The number two value that he talked about is growth. And you must obsess over growing your business, not just for your financial benefit, but also because it's the only way that you can add value to the marketplace. It's the only way that you can help more people get your services and benefit as a result of them. I always say to people, you know, if you offer the, the greatest real estate services in the world, the greatest information, you, the, you're the greatest um, representative, you had all their needs, you, you could get them the best deal, but you had zero clients to work with, then how much value do you add to the marketplace? And the reality is zero. So the second value you need to obsess over is growth. Year over year, every year your database is going to shrink by 15%, just naturally. I mean, people move away from town, they get friends that are in the business. You need to obsess over growing all the time. So growth is the second one, and I can't say that enough. People put that so low on their priority list sometimes that it's scary. So the first value is trust, the second value is growth, and the third value is going to be the thing that sets you apart more than anything. And that's the third value is innovation. And you need to make sure you're constantly trying to sort of reinvent yourself. And not, not necessarily um, reinvent yourself in terms of a revolution in how you do things. But you need to make sure that you're trying to find new, better ways to operate your business. And you're really setting yourself apart from the competition by trying new things. Now, this is not just technology and things you have to be using videos and Twitter and all this kind of stuff. But it could be the process that you're using in your real estate business. It could be you know, new initiatives, new campaigns you're out there doing. But you must constantly be innovating so people believe you're on the cutting edge. So that people see value. And what you're going to find is that your processes will tighten up. Um, you're going to be able to do more with less. 
you're going to be more efficient, and you're just going to be sought after by people because you're constantly moving forward. You're not just sitting stagnant. All these top companies that we've seen that have been around for a long, long time started off as one thing and finished as something completely different. Now, obviously, being a realtor, you might start your business one way, but don't be afraid to evolve. Don't be afraid to change, and don't be afraid to innovate. So the third value is innovation. Make sure you hold on to that. I'm going to tell you guys, Salesforce has been, uh, is a remarkable company, and he's had an opportunity to work with hundreds of thousands of organizations now and seeing what they do. And to hear a legend like, like Mark talk about uh, the different values in a company is something that you should really perk up and listen to. So the number one value you need to have is trust, number two is growth, and number three is innovation. Hopefully in 2013 you guys can incorporate these in your business, evolve to embody these, and implement them in the long term. That's your business tip this week. All the best in doing a ton of business for the rest of the year.